Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is actually going to be a pretty cool one because it is the first mini road trip in my Audi R8 V10 Plus. Since I've taken delivery of this car, we haven't driven it all that much and I really want to take it on road trips, experience it, not worry too much about mileage and kind of just make the most of the car. So we need to go film the Aston Martin DBX in Wales uh, tonight. So I thought rather than taking the train or anything like that, let's just drive up, make the most of the car. It's about 400 miles um, there and back. Yeah, you were looking at me like, what the, where the hell are we going? Um, yeah, so 400 miles there and back, maybe drive a little bit around there. I went to school around there as well, so it'll be cool to be back. Uh, and I'm just looking forward to really experiencing and getting to know my Audi R8 V10 Plus. So, whoa, what was that? What, did I, I think, what was I trying to say? Yeah. yeah. So, first things first, we need to try and fit. We don't have a lot of stuff, so it should be okay. But first step of a road trip is putting things in the boot. Right, license plates. We just leave them at the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one. It's not a very big boot. I have to admit, we've just put two little overnight bags in and some coats and it's pretty much full. So how we can do, anyways. There's plenty of space behind the seats as well, which we're not using, so there's always that. Car's not very clean, but there's no point in cleaning it before a road trip, right? We're exiting London, we're on the M4. Your explanation of British roads to me was A roads are A roads and M roads are motorways. Yes. Okay, very explained. Explain ex expl ex ex Cut. <laughs> explanatory. Explicit. E explanatory. Explanatory. What? There's a word for it. There is no word for that. That's very elaborate. Okay. Maybe is what you're trying to say. Maybe. Anyways, cruising out of town, um, we've actually discovered something really exciting. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this camera. But there's a button under the stalk here, which changes the display in front of me on the dashboard because I just had my sat-nav information at first. Whereas now, look, I can, I can get all sorts of things. I can get uh, my distance to next fill up. And most excitingly, we're doing 28, 29 MPG right now. It's not bad. That's actually really good. 68. Oh, that's live. That's live. Oh, it's live. live. I was going to be like, hmm. Uh, and I can actually get my digital speed because the speedo here has got miles an hour and kilometers now, and it just gets a bit confusing. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Um, but really nice. These seats are actually super comfortable with the heated seat on. Uh, it's really nice. Visibility is really good. We were just having a debate because I kind of want to uh, change these seats to put more like bucket cooler looking ones in. Um, but you are saying that comfort comes first. I somewhat agree with you. But I think if we manage to find comfortable bucket seats, that could maybe even link up to the heated seat. If that's a thing, then yeah, definitely. But I've never heard of comfortable bucket seats. Well, you can get the sports seats, yeah, the R8 yeah. sports seats, and yeah. they, they have heated seats as well. Good. Um, oh, there's some baller in the back of a 7, 750i there being chauffeur driven. Anyways, three hour drive ahead of us, two whales, very close to where I went to school. So if we have any spare time, we may go visit my old boarding school, which will be kind of fun, going back to my old boarding school in, um, in my Audi R8. Last time I went there, I was actually in a McLaren 570S track pack, which is kind of, which is not mine though. You're building quite the reputation at your school, <laughs> Seb. They're gonna be like, who is this child? Um, anyways, the, we'll you know, report back to you later on what it's like, but it's really nice actually to have this manual, even in town, just added sort of charisma and a sense of occasion to driving the car and you can really feel that it is a bit different having a manual that's linked up to a V10 compared to a manual that's linked up to a six cylinder or something like that. So it's, it's I'm getting to know the car a little bit more. One annoying thing though, pet peeve for now, uh, is the plug for the phone is back there, which means you can't put your sat nav on and play music at the same time. It's just actually, it's not that annoying now that we've got two phones, but if I was alone, that would get pretty frustrating. So that for now is, we need to get a longer cable uh, for road trip. So this is kind of like a test road trip to see what we need to do before we actually embark on something really long. So yeah, anyways, on the motorway now, M4, and uh, we're gonna keep cruising and we'll report back later. We've got half a tank, so that'll probably last us like about 15 minutes. Maybe in the 
lorry bay? I think we do park in a lorry bay. Seriously? Well, I want to be nice and safe. Ready, boom. There we go. Right, parked up, first services. Actually, not that bad. Shall we look at the MPG? What are we on here? So an hour and 37 since we reset it. 260 mile range still. 42 miles an hour average. 27.1 miles per gallon. That's I'm naturally really aspirated good. V10, that's really good. I feel like I'm Paul Wallace here <laughs> talking about this. Um, but then that's actually really impressive. So that actually calms me down a little bit because I was like, we're going to be spending 100 uh, pounds per 100 miles we're doing this car. But it turns out it's pretty good. All right, shall we? Let's do it. Let's go. You know what's good? Road trips. You always get to eat some pretty tasty, quality, healthy, healthy food, don't you? Whoa! Really? Okay, let's go. An hour and a half left and maybe we'll even be able to go visit my old school. I'm not sure, but it's freezing here. We are 14 minutes away from my old boarding school. And you know what's funny is these are actually the exact roads I learned to drive on. So I was taking driving lessons when I was 17 uh, at boarding school here. And these are the roads I was driving on, so it's really weird to come back here. I remember thinking like, change up here, change down, don't accelerate too hard. This was like where I would brake, because it was always similar roads. I ended up taking my test in London, but I learned to drive here. So this is really surreal. The sun's going down, so I'm not sure if we're really going to be able to film much at the school, but I just kind of want to go back for old time's sake. I'm going to be 10 minutes from there. We're arriving about an hour early, so we might as well just, even if it's just to go in for five minutes, see it but this is pretty pretty cool this is so strange they've got a reception now that did not exist when I was here what all of this has changed what is going on should we just say we want to go see the castle hi uh, just visiting um, I just want to go to the castle quickly. I mean, on the main drive, just to um, see it quickly. Yeah, you can go down, but you can't go into the, uh, in any of the, on any of the grounds. Okay. Yeah, this is nuts, isn't it? Is it? Like it is like Hogwarts. Oh my God. I've already filmed a video here on my channel before, but really? yeah, you're not really supposed to, we're not supposed to be filming or anything, so. All right, let's see. Right. So you guys can hear me because I'm mic'd up, but we'll need to just be real discreet. This is where we had all of our classes. Come on, let's go in. <laughs> how long? Straight to the beach. Yeah, how long do we have? We can, we can do a quick walk down to the beach. Do it. Come, let's be speedy then. So this is where, I, remember I would tell you I used to um, be a lifeguard on lifeguards. Yeah, yeah, this is here. So we would have, you have like a, a buzzer on you and if it would buzz or whatever. Come! Pretty cool, huh? Guys, so, so sick to be able to come back here to my old school. It's borderline sort of an emotional experience to be back here. Feels like such a long time ago, but really cool to be able to take you guys along and to come back with my new car. And uh, just thank you so much for watching this. We're going to go to Aston Martin now to film a new car. I don't know if there's going to be an embargo, but hopefully we'll post the video tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my first road trip with the R8. Really, really good fun. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,